Moto 16 gives us an updated Intel denoiser. I can access that from the final color output. So I select that, go down to the denoising dropdown. I can pick Intel Open Image Denoiser right there. This will be applied to the color output. I'll also have another color output with no denoising, so we can compare between the two. Let's take a closer look at these denoising results in Nuke. We've got some pretty complex fabric materials on our model here, and the render prior to denoising is on the left, and the Intel denoised version is on the right, and I can slide between the two here. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can take a look. Let me zoom into the middle, and you can see there's some pretty complex patterns on this lace material, and we have a stencil map with some really fine detail showing this fabric behind it. If I slide my little wipe to the left, you can see the denoised version showing up underneath it. Looking at this red part of the fabric, you can see there's a lot of noise in the material and the Intel denoiser does a good job of removing the noise and keeping that fine pattern there. It's even more impressive on this lace material. So again, if I push in even further, you can see a lot of noise on the render here and on this stencil map on this lace material. If I look at it after it's been denoised, we're still getting the red material, the red fabric underneath that stencil map, and all these shapes are intact and these you know, intricate patterns are intact on the lace there. We just pull out and look at one more area. Here we can see multiple layers of these detailed fabric materials due to the stencil maps that are applied. There's also normal roughness, albedo, and diffuse maps applied to these materials. And if you look at the denoise version, we can see through these multiple layers that does a really good job of taking the noise out. Here again, lots of noise. The denoise version has all that noise taken out, and we can see the fine materials beneath it. Noise, no noise. And this fine pattern here, this sort of hexagonal pattern in the red is maintained. These patterns here in the stencil map hold together nicely. You can see this fine mesh, and the materials underneath it are denoised. It's really pretty remarkable how good of a job it does.